a watch like a ping pong game. In the first second, I'm thinking, wow, then I'm starting to be concerned and thinking that look is insane. Then the question comes up, but isn't all that too much? Then I'd like to see it on my wrist. And then I'm concerned again about the diameter, the presence, the windows in short, Interesting, very interesting. So specifications first. The Descenders Voyage GMT is an automatic watch with a case diameter of 40 millimeters, a length of 47 and a height of 14. Lug width is 20 millimeters. The watch is equipped with the sapphire crystal, a screw down crown and is waterproof up to 100 meters. Inside ticks the new Seiko NH34A GMT movement. The watch will be available in two color slash finish options, metal with with blue dial and PVD gold plated with brown dial. Both models come on textile and leather straps and the early bird price is 499 US dollars or 464 euros stated without taxes. Delivery will take place in October, November this year. So what we see here and what caught my attention first is the idea of a GMT watch displayed on the dial by a globe. Because that's the entire idea of a GMT hand, to track different time zones and different time zones we have because of the round form of the globe circling around the sun. By the way, it would be very funny to see how a flat earther designs a GMT. Our watch now creates quite some energy with colors and textures. We have the northern part of the globe on the inner dial engraved, then the GMT scale with a day and a night part, night part in that darker blue, then the hour ring that comes with the sunburst finish. And now you may note that the dial is constructed with several floors which create depth and are very interesting to look at from different angles. That really is not that flat dial you find on many affordable watches. Here we have something really complicated that demands some thinking and planning. Very special are also the hands and here we see something divisive, windows. At first glance, that gives some sort of determination. The hour framed securely, so the plan. But in reality, you will see these windows or frames every second with a misalignment. The windows will cover the numbers more often than framing them. Second hand is very classy and well made with that red tip. Also the length of the hands is well chosen. The case looks also fairly complex which adds another bit of uniqueness to the watch. Certainly not a generic piece of metal. Now to the colors. I find the blue fake alligator strap absolutely terrible and cheap looking and I don't understand why people still do this. But that's of course an easy fix. The root beer though is a stunner, enormously loud, but here we see what a well chosen chord of colors can do. Interestingly, they want to produce a five piece edition of real golden watches, 14 karat rose gold for 4300 US and about 4000 euros. Kudos for that. I'm sure the look is great, but then I think, do I want a high end golden watch with the Seiko movement inside? Very odd decision. And who made that decision? These standards might sound like a California based micro brand, but is in fact a project created by a bunch of designers from Norway called the Garden Party. So, conclusion. Certainly something special that deserves our attention. I'm not sure if some aspects would work for me personally, but that's of course not really relevant when it comes to taste. So let me know please what you think about that. Windows, yes or no? And with that question, allow me to close this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to watch of the week.